there you go. Welcome back, everybody, to the Morphar Project. Woohoo! All right. So today, um, it was raining, so I need to do the walk after this. So, great day, great day indeed. So yeah, um, this is how far we already at. We are almost there. We are almost at the last last point. So. Since that I don't want to forget that I did that I needed to do something in the first place, I'm going to be fixing up that birdie beak of his. So I'm going to be fixing that part up. So this part here right here. Going to be fixing that birdie beak so that we uh, don't get this uh sharpy beak and we need actually uh less sharp in it. So we need to have like a big piece on it. So just Allow me just type in hawk, and then uh, you know, hopefully I will not get uh, any anything else than hawks. Good, I don't get anything else than hawks. Awesome. So, it is correct that they have a hook, that they have a bill hook. That's good to know. Only downside is the mouth is too small, so I need to actually up that, and then that should be fine. So uh, today we're going to be doing that. And then hopefully, you know, uh, we can see if we need to do anything else. So yeah, it's important, and therefore, you know, it needs to be done. Oh boy, uh, let's see. Head, 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 head. Also, I should definitely get back to my original part that I need. That is this one. And then we also need to slow the size to 5. And I need to actually brush this off. Alright. Close it all down. We need to figure out where the head is. Claw, head, body, head. There you go. Is this the head? Tell me. No. Those are the ears. That's not what I want. Ah. Well, look at that. That's the head. Alright, cool. So this is the head. I did it all in one go. That's uh, good. So yeah, I need to add some more stuff to it. So uh, don't mind me if I do that. So, um... I don't want to cost this too much. This part is good. So we're going to move that up. We need to make it longer. So how long do we need to make it? Well, we technically need to make it a little bit longer. So like right over here. So right over, over here we need to make it like that. Of course, you know. So we have this and then there. Yes. Alright. I'm just going to place it right here so that I can see. And we need to and we need to now get the part that we want done on this part. Deselect. That's a too much of a nose extension, right? Yeah, that's a too much of a nose extension. That's not good. So we want to actually go for them. Almost. And then move the nose part right here. Yes. So this would work. Now we only need to make sure that we have it correctly done.
Now we need to get back to this part. Now fix this part up. Technically, it's in the nose. It's not in the big part. It's actually in the upper part here. Yes. And then this should be like this. Yes. Alright. So this is how we're gonna do it. Now I need to lower that down. And now I need to get the back to the part that we have. Alright. I can do this. Not in that a little bit of changing and change of presto would work. Now we need to grab this one right over here, lower the size down. And done. Alright. Awesome. So yeah. Now that would work actually exactly how I wanted it to be, right? This will now co this now works like it should be. Nothing else happened, and that will work. Yes, awesome. That looks more like a ha hawk. Yes. All right. Now. Now, what do we want? We also want to change up the ears a little bit. So do we want that? We want those we want those ears to be fixed, right? Do I want this to be bigger? Yes, no, maybe. I want this definitely to be cool looking, but I'm now wondering like should I go for this kind of approach? Yes. I should and I should actually work on this part right now, on the coloring part. So first things first, we actually want this to be underneath that. So what we're going to be doing here is just, you know, doing the casual rundown of coloring. And then, and then we can see, like, where where does this thing lie in its coloring. Now it's the question if we now we need to make sure that we have everything under control so that we have everything that we want without the coloration. So now we did that. Now we did no.
Now it's all done. So this is the way of the coloring. But as you can see, there is a problem. The problem is that this part right over here needs to have a second layer. So it needs to have a second color. It works like this. All right. Hmm. I know that this is might a little bit confusing, but hmm. Why I need to put this on the same layer as that one then right? Yeah. I should move it then that way. This those things need to be on top of it. So that now if I now draw over it, that's not what I wanted. If I now draw under it, uh, if I now draw under it, it would work. So it would work now the way I wanted it to be intending, right? Yes. All right, we fixed that part. Now we need to actually make sure that the editing is correct. Oh, hey, blue. Nice to see you. So yeah, this is uh this is quite uh, fascinating. But nothing better than just, you know, casually fixing up the head, starting coloring the head and then, you know, making sure that the head looks nice. But yeah, this is uh this is a very difficult task to do because it is uh well it's not a time insensitive, it's just a really hard thing to do because I need to realize like, oh well, what are the colors that I need, what are the colors that I want, and then, you know, add up upon those things. It's quite funny. Also, by the way, Blue, congratulations upon your drawing. It looks amazing. I must say myself, I really liked how you uh, how you drew the uh, monster that was in the uh, in the drawing itself. You know, it felt like you know this. It felt a little bit like the never-ending story, if I believe, the big giant floating dra uh, floating dragon dog. That that that's what uh, that's what it remind me of anyway. Was though um, it was still good. It was still a good looking one though. It was great looking. Ah, I see. So yeah, um, that's what it may reminded me of anyway, and uh, now it's time for me to do the erasing part again. Supposed to be changing up a little bit here. No. But it looked great, even the story was even was also very nice to hear. It was like a little thriller. It was a little bit like a horror story, which was awesome. Haha. <laughs>
That makes sense that he is the dark thing with horns, right, too. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it would make sense, but it is quite a it was quite a magnificent uh, it was a quite magnificent beast to see at least. I remember back in the day that that actually that movie was actually very scary for me. I don't know why, I don't know when, but I saw it once and I was very scared of it. I think I saw it when I saw it two, five, eight, more, eleven years ago. Yes, when I was 17 I saw it, and that was actually spooky. Yeah. It was when I had scouting. It was a very strange movie. It was a very disturbing movie in my eyes. Back then. Don't know. I didn't know anything about the plot. I didn't know anything about it. I just saw the movie. I didn't pick anything up because I could not do... I was not yet into English. Let's put it that way. My English was bad. Very bad. So yeah, um, quite fun, quite fun indeed. And suddenly it was very scary. But yeah, the um, the things I uh, the things I, I I saw in the drawing were quite uh, quite good looking. I really liked it, and I really saw the story into the drawing, so well done on that. Congratulations. So yeah, uh, let's see. Oh wait, this is indeed all of it. Wait until when? Until when? Huh. Interesting. So the headpiece is actually above, above the other one. So if I now remove this part here, and I can now show you effects that are created. Interesting. Does that make any sense? It does, it does. But I can now just casually say like, well, I don't want this, or I want that. I actually want... like this. Yes, I can do that. Nice. It's quite funny how that works. Oh well. So yeah, I was curious if it was obvious who wrote the parts, uh, what parts, or if we did a good job blending each other's style. Uh, it, it depends, it depends. Um, I don't know what your style is most of the times, but I, I, well, you know, because I'm terrible at realizing it. But I do, I do think that I saw, uh, I realized which parts were written by who, but um, if you ask me like, yeah, who wrote this, I was like, yeah, uh, uh, if you would, if you put, if you put this, if you put, say, like, you know, a big question mark on po on the chapter parts where, you know, OLD, well, the, the, if you put, if you put, like, big giant question marks on it, 
and I would say like which part r it was written by who, then yeah, I would definitely figure out who who write what. But so far, you know, I I could not find it yet. I think I think I would be able to realize which one was was if I take a bigger better look at it. But no, eh, so far, no, I was not able to uh, to figure it out. So uh that's good, right? That's good. So yeah, anyway, uh this uh this drawing is just, you know, casually getting better and better and better. Casually. It's not better now, it's getting better later. And the more I work on this birdie bird, the better it gets, because that's how the word works. And yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, this uh, this bird is like really hard to do because my head is already turning, which uh, is a good indication that I'm tired because I did too much. Oh well, I did not do too much on the drawing. No, I did too much today. Like you know, ask important questions. Did that or do that? And you know. I have no problems with you know being like that. It just means that you know I need to do I need to do some cooling off after after this. So that's why I'm gonna be taking a walk. That's why I'm normally taking the walk in the early days, but in the early morning. But no, I need to do the I need to do the walk in the in the weekend, which is uh good. Nice. Ah, yeah. Always. Always nice. It's always nice to see somebody else's style and writing and stuff. If you would figure out what my writing style is, well, you could already see it. It's like, you know, it's not very good. It's, uh, it is written like, it's written like, you know, those easy stories that you write down, like, yep, yep, no, no impact, no nothing, because I am like, Emotions, what are those things? What? Emotions? Do they need to be there? Oh no. Oh no. Emotions, yes. And so yeah, I'm still stuck in the market garden. It's like, how the f how the hell am I gonna be doing this, man? Ugh. So yeah, um, gonna do my birdie part. So now that we did that, we're now gonna go for the second color should be fine. Oh boy. Which color am I going for? That's the question. Uh Ooh. Yes, um I believe I will go for this one then. Which is this one, right? This will work, yes, it will work. Alright, cool. That is almost one. Almost, come on, get, get darker. Get closer to it, and then grab the color that I need. There you go. Alright, that works. Now we need to get this up and running. Oh boy. So yeah, um hopefully you know this uh this will work fine. I believe it will, so you know I should have faith in this. I should I should definitely have faith in this. Even though you know this might look a little bit difficult. Which it is, don't get me wrong here, but
Right. Awesome. I don't know how this is going to be turning out, but I hope it is going to be good looking. I think it will, but, you know, it does make myself like wonder, like, hmm, am I doing it right? And, you know, normally I should not be able to worry about this too much. After all, it's just a mothawk. Why should you worry about something that you are drawing because you want to draw it? Well, I'm doing it for hacks, but still. It's like, I don't have any obligations whatsoever. Because I need to learn how to draw a bird, and I did. I did learn how to draw a bird. Took me long, but, eh. Took me good enough time. Anyhow, uh, let me just double. Da, 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 da. No, that's unfair. That's so unfair. That's so unfair. Already half an hour in. Holy hell. Anyway, Wednesday is uh, gonna be national voting day again for us in my country, so I'm gonna be voting. Oh yeah, and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna be voting, so it's gonna be the most ironic way to vote, but it is gonna be fun though. It's gonna be glorious fun. So, of course I'm going to make sure that the antennas are looking way different than these things. They're going to be outstanding looking. That's at least the idea. Right. Interesting. So funny how much time it actually takes to get these wing. Oh my god, that actually looks quite cool. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Actually, it looks quite cool. 
I must admit, that looks quite cool. So yeah, working on this cool looking bird of a bird of a word. So all this time of working is actually quite making me really liking this. And you know, I did, uh, and it's already 30 minutes in. God damn it. Why is it always when I look back, it's like instantly 10 minutes are gone? Like, hmm, you're making good progress. It should be a shame if something happens to it. And it's like, ah, you son of a bitch. And then you realize, like, hmm, well, uh, look at that. Mm, look at the time. Well, that's that sucks. So, yeah, uh,. The whole the whole fun part is uh, really uh, really bam baffled, which uh, really sucks. So yeah, it's uh, quite uh, quite hard for me to do stuff, and uh, trust me, this is always the most annoying part that I always like. It's like you're doing great, and then suddenly, the time uh, the time is like, hmm, well that's uh, that's thirty minutes already gone. It's like, but I'm just starting. I was just starting, and it's like no. You did not start. You were technically already doing stuff, and felt like you know, oh my God, what, how, how did time pass so fast? And then you know, when you normally do stuff, it's like, hmm, all right, when is the thirty minutes gone? Well, you still have fifty minutes left for your exam. It's like, what? So yeah, the the solution is never to look at the clock. Yeah, but then did. Yeah, yes and no, technically no, but yes. If you never look at the clock, you never get you never get that uh, sweet old uh, effect there, but uh, yeah, I uh, I was quite uh, confused when I looked at the clock. It was like, "Oh, well, well look at that. Uh, time. Time thingy has gone." All right. Now we need to use the blending bloom tool. To get things up and running, all right, and it's gonna be done by bit by bit. So. But yeah, the good news is that I'm gonna be, uh, you know, all oh, right. I cannot use the blend tool here. That's stupid. The tiny, the tiny ones I don't need to do the blend tool for. This one I do need the blend tool for. Which is quite, uh, you know. Quite uh, funny to see that you know all this time just passes so quickly, even though you're not, you know, you're doing great. If time passes quickly, you mean that you're d that you were busy doing very intelligent work. You were like, oh, what would I predict now? Yeah, it is quite predictable that well, if you are really tired you want to do stuff and I am like you know I'm not tired I'm just want to do stuff I want to help no not help I want to realize what I'm doing here I'm trying to add up character I want to try to add up you know the effect that I want to draw and the Malfoy project actually implements that really well I really like how much it does and always Every single time. This is totally random, by the way. Every single time, people out of Bel uh, people that are, you know, from the Netherlands, they say to me that I'm Be they they sit think that I'm Belgium because of my accent, and I'm like, what the? What do you guys smoke? A Belgian person talks even worse than I. <laughs> he uses French words. I'm not Belgian. If I was Belgian, I would have said so. And I would have not talked like this. I would have been talking like, Oh, good morning, uh, people. How have you been? Yeah, that, that, that's a Belgian person. It's almost a French guy, but uh, a little bit more difficult on the side. So yeah, that's uh, that's what happened. 
that's what happened. You know, a, a, a tactical Larry came. I always am. I'm always surprised how much stuff I did beforehand. So. Well, the, So yeah, um, that happens, and uh, well, you know, to fix that problem, you know, the whole damn thing that I need to work around is uh, quite hard. But yeah, it is uh, it is indeed a very hard thing to do, you know, working on something and making sure that you are not screwed over, especially by time. Time is one of those allies that you cannot hope for to have. It's always, you know, when you want to learn for an exam and then you realize, like, mm, yes, learning, kind of forgot about that. Yeah, that's me. That's me. I uh, I always forget that stuff are going into the background. It's like, what do you want to do today? Well, I want to do gaming. Well, uh, you can't. You actually need to learn. Well, screw learning then, and I'm going to be doing gaming. And it's like, what? That's the worst kind of idea you ever could come across. It's like, but it is an idea, isn't it? Do you have another idea? It's like, I, no. Well, then we're going to go for my idea. And then, you know, you're... You're wasting your whole day for gaming because you want to do gaming instead of you know learning stuff, and then the ex and then you know the the you know test is coming and it's like oh what the ah ah I should have learned. That happened like five times before I finally got the mark. So from before I find out what I needed to do, because you know I l really like you know hugging my PC to the max. Uh, I actually uh, did all the homework at school. Why did I do that? Why did I learn? Why did I learn and did all the homework at school? Because I'm a very, very tempted person when it comes to gaming on the big giant PC. So I was like, "All right, I can do gaming, or, 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 hear me out, hear me out. I can do learning." Which of the two sounds more fun? Gaming? Learning? Well, depends on what you're gonna learn, right? Well, it also depends on what teacher you're gonna have. If you're having the lazy teacher, then yeah, you don't want to learn. If you wanna have, if you have the very strict teacher, then yes, you're gonna be doing the learning thing. Otherwise, you're gonna get your ass kicked. And yes, that, uh, that did happen. I got my, not my ass kicked literally, but I got my ass kicked in, the, in a shouting match. So, uh, because, you know, you damn idiots, why aren't you not learning? And it's like, oh, da, da, da. well, it's not like we like to do this. <laughs> learning not supposed to be fun. You need to do it because you need to build up a future. And it's like, ah, yes, yes, master. Yes, my friend. Yes, of course. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, that always happened to me. Well, look at that. That actually looks quite cool. Then go back to pencil mode, and then go back to pencil mode like five. All right. All right. Cool. 
Now that looks that looks more decent. Now we're gonna go for the beak. Because I want to. I'm gonna go for the beak and we're gonna put this all into a layer, into a group, because I always forget I need to put things into a group. Because you know, that's what the cool kids do. Putting things into groups. Grouping. I'm gonna go for the same reference as this. So go first for the go first for the other, first for this color and then for the rest. What the? Excuse me, that's not the color that I choose. I choose this color. I choose it in the bright yellow, not brown to the max. Who needs brown? Nobody wants brown. Want to have the cool color? I want this. Yes, excellent. All right. Do -do 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 Alright, now we're gonna choose a second color on this, which is the green one. And then we're gonna add it to the Then I also need now I need this color because that's it. Yeah, I used to have a very easy distract uh, dis easy distracted from school or work a little. Even if I uh, even if I was at the library, I read everything except my assignments. <laughs> yep, yep, that's how it works. You're never supposed to read the assignments. What? What? Wait, wait, what? The work side the work there were assignments today? Oh, well, I should have... I missed it, apparently. I missed it. <laughs> I just missed it. What? I missed it? No way. Calculation to the max. <laughs> There you go. Awesome. Now we're gonna go back to this one, grab the color that we need, this one right here, add a little add a little bit here. Oh right there.
Then I'm gonna go for a red black one. I'm gonna go for the eyes. And then just, you know, black. This doesn't matter too much. That's the most derpy ass looking fucking bird ever if I'm gonna go for that. Ah. Alright, so I need to remove that. Alright, well, good for me. That means that I fix stuff. Where is it? No. I need to fix this. That's more better. Holy shit! Ah. And uh, fifty minutes, fifty minutes out. All right, fine, fine, fine. Save it up, save it up. Well, it looks already like a bird, so that's good. Already feels like a bird, acts like a bird, looks like a bird. You know, it's a morphog. It's already looking like one, even though you know we're done, not done yet. Good to know. Anyhow, uh, it is now time for me to uh, leave you guys again, so uh, I wish you all a lovely day, and uh, I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks all for watching, and uh, <laughs> yep, 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 that bird, that bird looking eye is very derpy, yes, I know, I know. So, uh, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, thanks all for watching, and until then, I wish you all a lovely day, and uh, bye!